farm so badly, Scrooge, old pal. Just sign on the dotted line. Mm. You're a bandit, Flintheart Glomgold. <laughs> and you're a fool, McDuck. You just shelled out twice as much as that nut farm is worth. <laughs> At least I'll be a rich fool. And what's that supposed to mean? Just that I'll triple my investment once I start manufacturing my new car, the Goober SX. It runs on peanut oil. Why, you tricky, no-good, money-grubbing business banshee? You'll pay for this. True. I'll mail you my personal check this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> How I love to get the best of that whiskered weasel. Ugh! What's that? Here come Bubba. Dribble down the middle. Bubba fake. Bubba pass. Bubba Flubba. Uh-oh, time out. Bubba, no boulders in the mansion. Sorry, Scrooge. Ah, uh, don't be too hard on him, Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, ever since we showed him the All Sports Channel, he's become a junior sports junkie. Well, make him stop before he turns me mansion into junkie. Come on, Bubba. You better dribble outside. Aye, hey, and while you're at it, you can bounce this check down to the mailbox. I thought you said it was bad to bounce checks, Uncle Scrooge. Yes, well, never mind, Huey. <coughs> eh? What's this? <laughs> this paper has a delightful odor. Like strawberries or licorice? No, like, like gold. Gold? <laughs> I, I'd know that bonnie scent anywhere. It's in all this stationery. But how did the gold get there, Uncle Scrooge? It must have gotten into the wood pulp at the paper mill. Come on, lads. Let's go there and unravel this mystery. Gee, the great ducky mountains are so green. Aye, like green backs, I hope. Pardon me, Mr. McD, but what exactly are we looking for? According to the workers at my paper mill, the trees used to make that gold-laden stationery came from this forest. You mean there's gold in them there trees? Oh, I hope so. Circle one more time, Launchpad. I want another look. No problemo. I'm a master at going in circles. Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> Aren't we a little uh, high for a falling rock zone? First, a tree point landing. <laughs> Remember what I said about playing with rocks indoors? Well, that goes for inside planes, too! Launchpad, see if you can get the plane down while the lads and I look around. Baba go too? You've caused me enough trouble. You stay here and help Launchpad. Oh. Thanks a lot, Mr. McD. Letter for Flintheart Glomgold. Postage due. Just like that nickel liquor McDuck not to use stamps. It's about time his check got here. What's that smell? Well, if my name isn't Flintheart Glomgold, it's gold! Where would Scrooge McDuck get gold paper? Keep your eyes peeled for any sign of... Uh... Gold! Where? I don't see anything. It's plain as day. See? A gold pine needle. Boy, I've heard of 2020 vision, but not 40 carat. It must have blown over this ridge. Oh! Wow! Gold in the trees! How could 
this be, Uncle Scrooge? These trees must be growing over a rich gold deposit that the roots have soaked up over the years. And now I get to cut down all the beautiful profits. <laughs> but Uncle Scrooge, how do you know the trees are yours? Because they're on my land. Are you sure? We walked an awful long way. I'll check the property records in town. If they are, then we'll start cutting. Darn the Argyles. You were right, boys. The gold trees are just outside my property line. Well, who does the land belong to? Glitter and Goldie. Your own girlfriend? Aye. Well, she won't want to sell her land if there's gold trees on it. Perhaps she doesn't know about them. Boy, will she be surprised when she finds out. Finds out what? About the gold trees. What gold trees? You're not gonna tell her? Uncle Scrooge, that's not fair. Dinner worry about Goldie. She drives a hard bargain. She learned from the best. Me. Gold trees, eh? I know McDuck didn't make an emergency trip up here to collect pine cones. Time to call in some unsavory saps to lend a hand. Hey, what's cooking, brothers? Moose antlers again? Moose antlers for breakfast? Moose antlers for lunch? I'm sick of eating moose antlers, eh? I'm tired of being so poor we can't afford good grub. Whoever said crime doesn't pay wasn't joking, eh? Greetings, Flintheart Glomgold here. Might you be Beagle Boys? Eh, for sure, eh? I'm Backwoods Beagle, and these are my twin brothers, Binky and Bacon. Twins? But he's a pig. Hey, 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 he had a bad case of swine flu as a child, eh? Whatever. Your brothers in Duckburg told me you might help me pull off a crime. Well, doing what? Scrooge McDuck is here trying to swing a deal with Glitter and Goldie. I could use some hill bullies to keep him from getting to her while I pull a fast deal of my own. Uh, let me check our calendar and see if we can squeeze you in or what. <laughs> What'd he say? Uh, he said we ate our calendar yesterday. We'll take the job. Think about coonskin spots. If I wore, I'm stupid. But you're rich, so you just look eccentric. Bet you this buckskin set you back some bucks. I look at it as an investment launch pad. Here's the candy. Baba pick flowers. Okay, like he's coming, okay? So uh, let's give him a big ducky mountain welcome or what? We'll roll up the welcome rock. <laughs> What's a fur line couch doing in a cave? <laughs> Are you all right, Uncle Scrooge? Aye, thanks to Bubba. These backwoods can be treacherous. This must be the place. Ah! All right, what low down varmint's trespassing on my property? Goldie, don't shoot. It's me. Scrooge McDuck? Now, what's an old cuss like you doing in this neck of the woods? I might ask you the same thing. What happened to your claim in a Klondike? Well, it got picked cleaner than a vulture on a rabbit. So I retired from prospecting and took up a more lucrative pursuit, lumberjacking. Well, it certainly agrees with you. You're a bunny sight. Oh, golden rods and chocolate silver dollars. Oh, you old romantic. Why don't you come in and set a spell? I was hoping we might have dinner together. I've got a proposition for you. Mm, I'd love to, but I already have a date tonight. You do? Good evening, Lassie. <clears throat> Flintheart Glomgold. Well, well. Small forest, isn't it? I see you two know each other. Ah, uh, yes, we go way back. Right, Scroogey? 
wonderful. Since you're such old friends, why don't we all go out together? I'd rather... Splendid idea. I'd love to join you. Good. Just make yourselves at home while I get myself gussied up. Two's company and freeze a war, Scroogey. So stay away from my girl. If anyone's leaving, it's you. We'll see about that. Out you go. Ooh. No, out you go. No, you. 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 Well, boys, what do you think? You look like a million dollars, Goldie. Make that a billion, cheapskate. Aw, uh, go on with you now. What say we get some grub? Allow me. <laughs> no, me. I have a feeling this is gonna be a night to remember. Here we are, boys. The Moosehead Lodge. Park it while we get a deep. Hey, we've been waiting here just like you said, Glommy. You've got to get Scrooge out of there so I can close the deal with that shriveled up old shrew. Hey, no problem. Like, we'll tell him he has a phone call, then we'll nail him for sure, eh? <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing business with a pig. <laughs> What'd he say? He said he can't believe he is either. Welcome to the Moosehead. Today's specials are Moose Flambe, Cajun Moose, and for you Greek lovers, our world-famous Moussaka. What, no chocolate mousse? Never heard of it. I don't know. I don't really like mousse. Well, the only other restaurant in town is Yak in the Box. Forget about food, Goldie. About my proposition. Don't listen to it. I've got a proposition you can't refuse. Wait a second. Hey, Scrooge McDuck, urgent phone call for Scrooge McDuck, eh? Not now. Go away. But, Scrooge, it might be an important business call. Impossible. Nobody knows I'm here. Oh, shoot. Did I say call? I meant to say your headlights was on, eh? No. Uh, your mother's sick. Eh, the grunion are running. Excuse me. <laughs> you idiot! What do you think you're... Uh, alone? <laughs> Get these pigs off of me! So, what's the proposition, Scrooge? Well, Goldie, there comes a time in a man's life when he, he wants more. To expand his holdings, to broaden his... Are you asking for my hand in marriage? No, I'm asking to buy your land. Parcel 3289, map 276. Over my de-feathered body, I'll offer you a deal you can't refuse, Goldie. You wouldn't have known a good deal if it was behind door number three. Why, you no good. Boys, boys, settle down. The way you're fighting, you'd think there was gold on that land. Tell you what, I'll take the sweetest offer. I'll offer a hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand and one. Two hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand and three. Oh, what's a lumberjill like me gonna do with nothing but money? I'll throw in a set of dishes. I'll throw in a set of dishes and my land. I'll throw in two sets of dishes and Scrooge's land. Sorry, Flinty. You've got yourself a deal, Scroogey. Done. <laughs> Don't be too sure you won this deal, McDuck. There's more than one way to skin a Scot. Axes, chainsaws, shovels, termite spray, beaver repellent. Gee, Uncle Scrooge, we never see your shop till you drop before. That's because I'm returning this stuff as soon as I cut down those trees. 
Yo, Mr. McD. <laughs> what do you think of the new me? Lumberjack McQuack. <laughs> I think you're a lumberjack. Mr. McD, tying my hands is cruel and unusual punishment. You've already crashed a plane and a general store. You're not laying a hand on my gold trees. Uh, my trees? Where have they gone? Got me stumped. This is no time for bad puns. Somebody stole my trees, and we've got to find them. Look, Uncle Scrooge, the tree thieves must have gone that way. Come on, we've got to catch those lumber jackals. I am down good and tight, boys. Don't want any of these million-dollar dogwoods to get away. Stop right there, you forest felons. Into the water, quick! <laughs> Logs are mine now. Oh, they're mine, you good weevil. Hard mm, luck. A storm fear and squeal. Wait. What's that? Suffering scots. Look. Abandon logs. Women and chiselers first. I'm the captain and I go down with this ship. Never. I'll be too much for these logs to leave them. Oh, do not. Yes. Oh, no. 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 Grandma, what happened? Seems you bumped your head going over the fall, Scroogey. And you're about to get a splitting headache to go with it. Help! Oh! Help! I'd show you how to shut this off, but I've got a train to catch. One of our golden moments in crime, eh? Way to go, Bubba! You sure derailed their plans! Uncle Scrooge would be proud! Hey! Uh -oh, where is Uncle Scrooge? Help! Don't worry, boys! I'll save him! Leave this to me, guys. This is a dangerous rescue only an adult should try. But listen! Here I come, Mr. McDee! Whoops! <laughs> what was that you wanted to tell me? There's an off switch. Oh! Thank you, lads. A few more seconds and you would have had two Uncle Scrooges. Mama stopped Flintheart from stealing your gold trees. They're safe at the bottom of the gorge. Good. Now let's get back to the gold deposit before someone steals that.
You're right, boys. I've never seen roots grow sideways before. Where's all the gold they've been soaking up? Did someone say gold? Yeah, Goldie. What brings you out here? The same thing that brought you. Gold. Like in those tree stumps. Gold? Tree stumps? I... <laughs> Eh, uh, I guess I owe you an apology, Goldie. I didn't tell you the real reason I wanted your land. I guess I'm no better than that crook Glomgold, and in good conscience, I cannot keep your land. Scrooge, I have only one thing to say to you. A deal is a deal. What? You let me keep the land? We have a contract, and I intend to stick to it, come what may. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, boys. We're digging for dollars. But hallelujah, we found it. Hold it right there, Scrooge. According to the property records, you've just crossed over onto my land. What? Imagine that. The gold trees are on your land, but the gold deposit is on mine. This cannot be. There's a mistake. And you made it. Why, you poker-faced prospector. You knew about the trees and that gold all along. Well, who do you think sent you that gold stationery to lure you up here? I've been working on a way to get your land for months. Now I've got a gold deposit, and you've got a lousy bunch of tree stumps. Ooh, Goldie, you're a dusty dealmaker. I learned from the master. Ooh.